video is on the problems related to the equivalent formulas. Um, this topic is from mathematical logics. So I have taught you 10 equivalent formulas in my previous video. If you go through that video and come to this video, then it will be very, very easier for you to get the solution. See here, as this is a complicated problem, so I have made it easier bringing you each and every formula which is relevant for substitution in order to get the solution. See here, these are the two problems which I have taken from the previous question paper. So if you follow this video till the end, so you will be very much benefited getting a good score. See here, the first question here is we have to show that negation of P or negation P and Q and negation P and negation Q are logically equivalent. So we have to show that these two are logically equivalent without using the truth value tables. So we have to use the equivalent formulas. And next question here is we have to show that P and Q implies P or Q is a tautology. As tautology means we have to show that the true will be the answer. As if you imply this one, so we have to get true is the answer as it is a tautology. So these two are the previous questions which are asked in the question paper. The first of all, we have to solve this one. The first question here is negation of P or negation P or Q. So this one is LHS. So I have to show this RHS using equivalent formulas. So what are these equivalent formulas? Let me show you once. So first one is idempotent law, identity law, domination law, negation law, commutative law, associative law, distribution law, de Morgan's law, absorption law and double negation law. So these are the 10 formulas which I am going to imply so that we will be getting a easier solution. The first of all here is negation of P or negation P or Q. I am going to use the de Morgan's law. So what does this de Morgan's law states that? So according to our de Morgan's law. So let me explain you this de Morgan's law as it is very easy. According to the de Morgan's law, if this negation, if you send it inside, so this and will become or. So negation P or negation Q. Clear? And next one, if you send this negation inside, so negation P and or will become and negation Q. So this is the de Morgan's law which I am going to apply here. So if I am sending this negation inside, so what happens? This will be negation P. So this will be negation P and this or will become and negation of See, this is negation P or Q. Clear? And next thing here is, so again, I'm going to send this negation inside using this de Morgan's law. So this is negation P and. So if I send this negation inside, this will be negation of negation P and or will become and. Clear? And this is a double negation. So I'm going to apply the last double negative law. So this is a double negation law or double negative law. So this is double negation law. According to a double negation law, if you have two negatives, so it will become positive. Minus of minus this one is plus. So it is also very easy to remember. This is negation P and negation. If I send it inside, this will be P and this will be Q. And next one here is distribution law I'm going to apply. So I'm going to distribute this one. So which one I'm going to distribute? This negation P I'm sending to with to P as well as this 7Q. So this is a distribution law. If I use this distribution law, so according to our distribution law, if I send this negation P inside, so it will become negation P and P and next one, this is also P and this is negation P and negation Q. Clear? And after this one, so as the formula here is negation law according to our negation law so this value is so if you go through this negation law for this so what will be the answer here false negation p and p is nothing but false and this is negation p and this is negation q and now i'm going to apply commutative law as you know that commutative law is nothing but a into b is equal to b into a so this is commutative law so according to our commutative law and this can be written as the first thing we have to bring this one negation P and negation Q and this is false clear and next one identity law. So according to our identity law 
according to our identity law this can be written as negation p and this is negation q so this is what it is in the rhs side so if you observe this one so what is in the rhs side so this is negation p and negation q so i have taken this lhs and i have shown rhs therefore these two statements are equivalent so this is an rhs therefore we see that negation of see here this can be written as negation of negation of p or negation p and q which is equal to this is negation p and this is negation q so according to our equivalent formulas i have used the de morgan's law it is also very easy if you send negation inside this or will become and and next one again i have sent this negation inside again de morgan's law if i send negation inside this or will become and and next one double negation negative of negative it is positive and again i have applied distributive law so i have distributed this negation p to p as well as q so this is also very easy and the next one is negation law so negation p and negation sorry negation p and p is nothing but false and i have applied commutative law i have sent this a into b is equal to b into a and next one identity law so this will be the answer that is negation p and negation q and this is the final answer so using these 10 formulas i have applied few formulas from those in order to get the solution so these are all the simple steps which you can practice and you can score more and please don't miss this video and the next one is problems related to the equivalent formulas so the next formula here is equivalent formula so we have to show that p and q implies p or q is a tautology again so we have to show that this whole thing value is equal to p so p means t t means true so i am going to use these formulas that is p and q implies that is p or q see here as you know that there is a formula that for implication so p implies q is always equivalent to negation p or q first one we have to keep negation for this or q same thing i am going to use here that is the for, for first thing i am going to use the negation negation of p and q or this one is p or q clear and next one if i send this negation inside so which formula it is de morgan's law so if i send this will be de morgan's law according to the de morgan's law if i send negation inside this and will become or and therefore negation p or this is negation q and here this is p or q clear and again this one negation law so as these are of same symbols so i can interchange so if i interchange this one this can be written as negation p or p or this one is negation q or q clear and next one is negation law so according to our negation law so if you go through all my videos so it will be very easy see this is negation law according to our negation law this value is true negation p or p is true and this is also true negation q or q is true and this value is true and therefore therefore p and q implies p or q is a tautology so it is a matter of 10 to 15 minutes if you go through this video but you can solve any problem after uh, by hunting this uh, 10 formulas even it is very easy if you practice my previous videos also so these are all the questions taken from my previous question papers so it will be very very useful go through the playlist and each and every video is uploaded please practice pass it on to your friends stay connected keep watching and i'll be uploading so many problems related to these series important questions in my next videos also please go through that one definitely you can be very very benefited thank you so much